For the Aloha section of the PGA of America, the Hall of Fame inductees, honored guests, family, and friends. My name is Bill Cunerty, and I coach the football and golf teams at Saddleback College in Mission Viejo, California for 32 years. I'm a past president of the Southern California Golf Association, and I've been around this wonderful game of golf for most of my life. So I know the importance of this evening's ceremony to the best player I ever coached, Casey Nakama. Casey came to Saddleback in 1983. He played on our team in the 83 and 84 seasons. He was captain of the 1983 state championship golf team, the first such state championship in Saddleback history. He earned all state honors in 1983 and 1984. He was the Mission Conference Player of the Year in 1984, and Casey is a member of the Saddleback College Athletic Hall of Fame. Casey brought the Aloha spirit to Saddleback, he brought a great golf game, a competitive spirit. He was a great student and a great human being. To my family, especially to my two daughters, he's Uncle Casey because for the month that he stayed with us before he moved out on his own, he taught us how to make sticky rice and how to speak pigeon. He was also an assistant athletic trainer on our 1985 National Championship football team. His selection to the Aloha Section PGA of America Hall of Fame is a crowning achievement in a great career. Casey's been a great player, a great ambassador, a tremendous teacher, and to thousands of kids in Hawaii, a great mentor. He's always been concerned more about other people's well-being than his own, and he's truly a champion in the game of life. To the Cunerty family, he's been a great player, a great friend, a great inspiration, and a great blessing. Casey, congratulations on this tremendous honor. You've earned it. God bless. Casey has always been a, a good player, and uh, we, all, we all respect his golf game. Uh, coming off his uh, Hawaii State senior win this past uh, month, we can all see that his game is still there, even as a senior player. You know, uh, Casey's uh, first few lessons with Michelle were you know, like like the, you hear the story, you know, as soon as he saw her, he knew she was special. And uh, I think it was her second lesson, he called me, he said, hey, I gave a lesson to this girl, you gotta come watch her hit some balls. Mm -hmm. And I went down to the range and I, you know, got behind and I sat there quietly, watched, and the first ball she hit, I'm like going, wow, <laughs> you know, this girl was, I think at the time, 10, and, you know, had a great natural swing. And um, Casey said, you know, I, I really don't have to do not much to improve it you know I just have to refine it and and not mess it up and um, he knew right away that she was a special talent and uh, you know she'll, he'll always be known as her first instructor. Casey loves to win I mean his passion for golf and whatever he does it, it it's unparalleled really and nothing illustrates his will to win more than the NFL because for the last 15 years Casey has accurately predicted the Super Bowl winner. But there is a, you know, a caveat. Casey usually doesn't pick the NFL champion until about five minutes left in the game. He'll say, oh, how's my Seahawks? That's usually what he does. So. But that, that's how much that guy loves to win, you know. Didn't always get to travel together, per se. Uh, we went the year that I played in the Masters. Uh, Casey was part of my entourage, so to speak. and. Uh, a lot of good memories there. You know, we, we stayed in the house together. We went to the golf course together, and um, a lot of special memories from that week. But outside of uh, traveling together, you know, I've gone a lot of places to play in golf tournaments, and and when people find out I'm I'm from Hawaii, you're from Hawaii? Do you know Casey Nakama? You know, it's one of the first names that always pop up, and. Uh, and you know, sometimes they, they say it with a smile, so I'm not sure if they had uh, outside of golf experiences as well, but I'm sure it was all in good fun. And uh, it's, always, you know, it's always interesting to know who, who knows Casey. Casey's probably been playing golf for about 40 years. 40 years he's played golf. And you think over 40 years, maybe, maybe it's not luck. You know, it has to do something with the way he approaches the game. Casey likes to insist that he hits beautiful iron shots that somehow bite and stop short of the hole every time. So as someone who has a hole in one, my advice would be just hit hybrid, brother. Hit hybrid, 
let it ro roll gently into the cup, and then we can start the celebration. Pasada sake. Well, I first met Casey, um, I think it was probably in like the 1980s, mid-1980s. Um, I, I actually um, moved to Oahu like in uh, maybe like eight, 1981 or some, somewhere around there. And I heard a lot about this guy, Casey Nakama, from some of my other friends like, you know, Mark Chan, Del Fujita, P. Chan, Craig Inaba. And they talked highly about this Casey Nakama. And finally, I got to meet Casey at Pearl Country Club. So uh, I got to play with him uh, along with Greg Meyer. And Casey used to use this short drive. I think it was a Joe Powell driver. In those days, it was persimmon. But like Casey's about the same size as me. And I remember thinking, oh my god, this guy is unbelievable. Because he used to like hood his club when he first started um, his address position. And he used to hit the ball like a ton. I mean, it went so far. Like I thought I could hit the ball far, but Casey was like blasting it past me. And so that's like the first time I met Casey. So I was like really impressed. Um, well, you know, we played a lot of golf, but this one uh, golf memory comes to mind is that uh, it was a, probably a Thursday golf at Westlock. And the partners were supposed to be the old guys, which was Casey and Wendell Tom against the young guys, Delmark and uh, myself. And, you know, Casey, I, I, at that point, I've been playing really good golf, and Casey want, wanted to be my partner, but somehow the match got divided old and young, and we drive down to the tee, and he, I could see him thinking and you know trying to, trying to manipulate how he's going to get out of this pairing. And he gets on the tee, and he looks at the two USC graduates, Wendell and Dell, and he goes, Hey, you two, Trojans. <laughs> and Dell and uh, Wendell have to protect their alma mater. They goes, Shoot! And so we switch bags and change carts and we get in the cart together and I look at him and I go, I go, wow, that was pretty good and you got to switch seats. <laughs> to always tell this story. I don't know if Mark or Guy know, but Casey's dad had a gas station across from Navy Marine. So when he started playing golf, he played Navy Marine all the time. And he said he would play, and if he made like bogey, he would pick up his clubs and go back and start again. Because he wanted to play like, you know, like a perfect, perfect kind of round. So I, I don't know what, what it comes from, but Part of it, I would say, is his passion. And part of it is he's always prepared. Whatever, whatever the, the, the task that he's taking 95, on. Five. we started a junior golf program at Olomana. Um, I think it was, it, was, uh, it was in combination with his cousin's junior golf program, uh, Lloyd Nakama. Uh, it was, I think, I think it was a trial thing, but it turned out to be a really good thing. So. We extended it for another session, and 20 years later now, it, it has, it's evolved into an all-year I program. remember playing with Casey in the Maui Open, and this was the 17th hole at the Wailea Gold Course. And we were really close. I don't know if it was tied or he was one ahead or something like that, but it's, it's a part three, kind of longish part three, and Casey hit a, like a big pool hook, and here goes the ball. Pool hooking going way left into the rocks, 
hits the rocks, bounces like 20 feet up in there, maybe 30, up in the air to the right on the green, and he makes a par. <laughs> and Casey ends up beating me in the tournament by a stroke and stuff like that. But so. Pretty well known fact that you were Michelle Wee's first coach. You know, that's all good and well. I mean, you know, she, she's a remarkable player and we're all thrilled and, you know, proud of all the accomplishments that she has done and will do in the future. But to me, you know, you're first coach for the thousands of kids that have come through this program. And I think that's more of an accomplishment. Hi, Case. Congratulations. This is a well-deserved award for you, and um, I know how thrilled you were when you heard the news. Um, uh, okay, so uh, I know everybody wonders how you and I work together and live together, do everything together, but you make it easy. And as far as working together, you with the kids, the kids know when, that you love teaching them, they can tell and I just want to say congratulations. I know in the near future we'll definitely be back here watching one of your students get into the Hall of Fame beside you. Congratulations. Hey Casey, congratulations. Um, I, I really feel like you deserve it. Um, in some respects I, I think you, you know you should have been in a long time ago but now that you're here um, welcome to the Hall of Fame. Okay, Casey, congratulations on your induction to the Hoi Hall of Fame, Hoi Golf Hall of Fame. Have a great night. Thank you. Casey, I want to congratulate you on being inducted into the Hawaii Golf Hall of Fame, an honor that is uh, richly deserved. You know, to me, there's nobody that I know of that has promoted the game of golf in Hawaii as much as you have through the junior golf program that you have here. You know, it's one thing to start a program, but to sustain it over all these years and still be as vital as it is today, I mean, that's a remarkable accomplishment. Um, and on a personal note, I wanna thank you and Jerry for letting me be a part of this.